Well, part of the reason for that traffic being light is that starting next year, Juneteenth will be recognized as an official state holiday in Rhode Island. That's right. This afternoon, Governor Dan McKee signed a bill into law marking that change. 12 News reporter Alexandra Leslie is outside the State House in Providence with details about the ceremony and the history behind the holiday. Alex. Well, this bill will establish Juneteenth National Freedom Day as a state holiday beginning June 19th, 2024, three years after Congress made it a federal holiday. An historic moment for the ocean state this Juneteenth as Rhode Island Governor Dan McKee signs a bill into law making Juneteenth a state holiday. Rhode Island will officially make crucial recognition of the horror and shame of slavery. If it makes anybody uncomfortable in, the, in this room to hear those words, then that's why we say it. Juneteenth commemorates the end of slavery in the United States when news of the Emancipation Proclamation signed two years earlier reached the last enslaved people in Galveston, Texas in 1865. Last week, the General Assembly approved the bill to establish the legislation sponsored by State Senator Tierra Mack and State Rep. Rihanna Henrys. It is our duty to ensure that the struggles, triumphs, and the accomplishments of black Americans are not relegated to the footnotes of history. We must recognize the systemic injustices that have persisted for centuries and work together to dismantle them. Juneteenth RI President Helen Baskerville Dukes explained though this marks great progress, there's still work to be done. It recognizes the horrible history of this country, but also its potential and the work we have to do to make America hold to its promise for freedom and equality for all. At least 28 states in Washington, D.C. recognize Juneteenth as a public holiday. Juneteenth has been in observance in Rhode Island since 2012, but not a legal state holiday until now. Live in Providence, Alexandra Leslie, 12 News.